The Quantum Nature of Consciousness Insights from Dr. Christopher German's Research I'm Christopher Voss, MD, MS, FCCP, a board-certified anesthesiologist. In my previous videos, we've explored how consciousness might extend beyond just brain activity. It could be a field, much like the fields of physics that connects everything in the universe. We've discussed ideas from quantum mechanics, the holographic universe, and teachings from various thinkers. Today, we're diving deeper into the work of Dr. Christopher B. German, a leading researcher in quantum cognition. His research sheds light on how quantum processes could be the key to understanding consciousness itself. I'll break down these ideas with examples and real-world applications to explain how these concepts might influence our understanding of the mind and daily life. Dr. Christopher B. German and Quantum Cognition Dr. German is a cognitive neuroscientist whose work merges quantum physics with cognitive science. One of his key contributions is the idea of quantum cognition, which suggests that our thoughts and decisions might operate in a way similar to quantum particles, existing in a range of possible outcomes until we focus on one, collapsing it into reality. Imagine this like a movie where multiple endings have been filmed. The final ending doesn't reveal itself until you, as the viewer, choose which version to watch. In the same way, our minds might exist in different states of possibility before we choose a thought or emotion, bringing it into conscious awareness. Quantum Cognition and Consciousness Simplified So how does this relate to consciousness? Let's think of the mind as a giant library filled with millions of books. These books represent all the possible thoughts, emotions, and decisions we can have. Normally, only one book is open at a time, and that's what we are conscious of. In quantum cognition, it's as if multiple books are partially open at once, with words floating between them. We don't consciously choose which book to read until we focus our attention, collapsing all those possibilities into one. Dr. German's work is linked to the idea that consciousness might operate like this, where quantum processes allow the brain to keep multiple possibilities alive until we focus on one. This could help explain how we make decisions and experience consciousness. DMT Research and Quantum Consciousness Approaching Cautiously Now let's address an area of Dr. German's research that touches on DMT, dimethyltryptamine, a psychoactive compound. I want to make it clear that DMT is a Schedule I controlled substance in the United States, which means that its use is illegal except under certain limited conditions, such as in approved religious practices by groups like the Native American Church. DMT is known for producing intense, altered states of consciousness and has been studied for its potential to offer insights into how consciousness operates. However, I want to emphasize that I do not endorse or recommend the use of DMT outside of approved and legal research settings. Respected institutions, such as Johns Hopkins University and Imperial College London, have been conducting research on the effects of DMT on consciousness. These studies focus on how DMT interacts with the brain and may help scientists better understand consciousness and its underlying mechanisms. Dr. German's Research on DMT and Consciousness Dr. German's research on DMT goes beyond just exploring its psychoactive effects. His work is particularly focused on understanding how DMT can provide insights into the quantum nature of consciousness. He has studied how DMT alters brain activity, producing what are often described as non-dual or ego-dissolving experiences. These states of consciousness can make individuals feel as though they are no longer separated from the world around them, and instead, they become part of a larger whole. Dr. German and other researchers theorize that these DMT-induced experiences could help us understand how consciousness might operate on a quantum level. Specifically, DMT seems to interrupt the brain's ordinary processes of creating a consistent self and external world. When this interruption occurs, it allows the brain to access states of consciousness that are not bound by the usual limitations of time, space, and individual identity. This aligns with quantum mechanics, where particles can exist in multiple states or locations until observed, much like the brain's ability to hold multiple possibilities before collapsing them into one unified experience of reality. In essence, Dr. German's research suggests that DMT might temporarily free the brain from its regular mode of processing information, 
allowing access to a more fundamental level of consciousness, one that could be tied to quantum processes. This could offer profound insights into how consciousness arises, how it might connect to a quantum field, and how states of consciousness might be more fluid and interconnected than we currently understand. Insights into Consciousness from DMT Research What makes Dr. German's work particularly compelling is the possibility that the altered states induced by DMT might give us glimpses into how the brain processes consciousness at its most fundamental level. The ego dissolution and non-dual experiences reported by DMT users could reflect how consciousness might be a quantum phenomenon, where individual consciousness is not separate but is part of a larger interconnected field. For example, during DMT experiences, people often report a sense of being connected to everything, a state where the boundaries between self and other disappear. From a quantum perspective, this could reflect how consciousness operates on a level where distinctions between individuals and their environment are less rigid, just like quantum particles can be entangled, sharing information instantaneously across vast distances. Dr. German's research shows that DMT could help scientists explore how consciousness might function outside the confines of normal, waking perception. The radical shifts in perception and identity observed during DMT experiences may offer clues into the nature of consciousness itself, suggesting it might not be as localized or bound by space and time as we typically believe. DMT and the quantum brain, what can we learn? Although we must be cautious when discussing DMT due to its Schedule One status, research from institutions like Johns Hopkins University and Imperial College London has already shown that DMT significantly alters brainwave patterns increasing connectivity between different regions of the brain during a psychedelic state. This increased connectivity might resemble how a quantum system operates, allowing for rapid communication and integration across different areas. Dr. German's research focuses on understanding how these changes in brain activity might reveal how consciousness is fundamentally structured. In a normal state, consciousness may act like a tightly regulated system, with neurons firing in predictable patterns. But under the influence of DMT, this predictability breaks down, and the brain enters a more fluid, interconnected state, perhaps one that reflects the quantum underpinnings of the mind. This research is helping scientists ask important questions. Could consciousness be more expansive than we realize? Could it be tied to quantum processes that allow for a more interconnected experience of reality? And what does this mean for our understanding of the mind? a conservative approach to cutting-edge theories. As a physician, I approach these ideas with a balance of curiosity and caution. While the research on DMT and quantum consciousness is compelling, we must remain grounded in the understanding that DMT is a controlled substance, and more research is needed to fully grasp how it interacts with consciousness. That said, Dr. German's work offers an exciting possibility for understanding how consciousness may operate at a deeper level, and it opens the door to new ways of thinking about the brain and the mind. It also raises questions about how our consciousness might be connected to the quantum realm, questions that could reshape the way we think about reality and our place within it. To learn more about consciousness, please visit us on our website at medspecialists.net and subscribe to our YouTube channel.